Oh yeah, isn't there a... Oh yeah, there's a music player. Right. Oh, that's much better. Oh, sick. Okay, anyways. Hey, uh, I'm gonna try to do this fast, because I don't want this to be like an hour long. Burnout. Uh, it sucks. Nobody wants it. Ever. Makes it borrow gray. Terrible. Uh, I'm gonna go over both of when you're in burnout and when they're in burnout. And uh, hopefully that won't take too long. We'll start with when you're in burnout. You know, if you didn't hear me 10 seconds ago, it sucks. It's terrible. Not much else I can say about it in that regard. For a little bit, you can, uh, you know, feel what it was like to play Street Fighter V, Geef. And, uh, no access to any of the dry stuff. Also, you take chip damage. Also, uh, there's more block stun. It's bad. There's, there's, I don't know how many times I can say it's bad. I can keep going, but, uh, you know, anyways. So, when you're in burnout, slowly comes back up by itself. People are going to try to take advantage of the fact that you're in burnout the entire time. A couple ways. Either A, chipping you, because you take chip damage now. Or B, trying to DI you and get you in the corner and do the whole stun thing. Or just doing stuff that they couldn't do before. Uh, if you're, like, around here, usually they'll try to chip you. And there's just general, like, if they try to chip you, thankfully you don't need the drive gauge to avoid fireballs or avoid chip. Or stuff like that. Or even to like, you know, if they're trying to get on you, you don't need the drive gauge to anti it. But a lot of times, uh, you just have to take it. I know it's kind of a weird, like, oh, there's no super, super cool trick. Sometimes you just have to take it. You'll take the chip and it sucks. And, you know, some characters, you know, you can do that and be okay. Or... If they, if they want to waste their time doing stuff like that instead of actually doing something, by all means, let them. Uh, if you see there the gray bar, if you walk backwards, it goes slower. And if you go forward, it goes a little more. If you jump, it just stops. So weirdly enough, you're trying to drive gauge back, like lariating is better than jumping over. Just a little bit. If you can safely lariat through a fireball, then that's, you get it back faster than it would be to jump over it. You also just take the chip, because taking any chip or normals or stuff will bring it back up a lot. Nothing too complicated, right? Uh, if they want to, you know, get you in this situation here, where it's a bad time, that is not the right button. What button is it? You know, they hit you with normals and stuff. If you notice, the normals are still bringing it up. See? Now, there's some characters where they do like the infinite block string on you, because like I said before, more blocks done on normals, and even specials. So there's some characters that they do like block strings on you that just seem infinite, there's like no way out. And it doesn't matter. Because the gauge goes back up slowly anyways, so just take it. Again, some characters like DJ here, you know, you're gonna take fireballs. And it's gonna suck. And you try to press buttons, you get counter hit, and whatever. You're in burnout. Your fault. Deal with it. Usually when you're in this scenario though, uh, they try to DI you. Because that's a bad time. If I remember where the hell it was here. That's not it. There we go. So when they try to DI you, you, you get stunned. They get a whole combo. So, um, most of the time, Geef is kind of screwed. Not much he can do. Nothing special he could do compared to other characters, usually. Uh, it's just super or sometimes you can do this. If they're dumb and they want to do like raw DI and it's like, I'm just going to DI him because I can, then, you know, there's stuff like that which is funny to look at. But... Most smart people won't just do that. Unless they, they're they really confident that you can, you don't know how to SPD them. But, you know, for example, if you try to jump away at the last second, like sometimes, sometimes you get bopped. You get bopped. You grab them. Cool. Uh, if you have meter, obviously, invincible, you're out. Uh, level 1, don't do that. It's a bad idea. Uh, I'm a casual minus 35 after that. That's <laughs> not a good idea. Uh, is there anything else about the corner one? I don't... Oh, um, <laughs> it literally slipped my... This is not a joke. It actually just slipped my mind. Um, some characters, they're DIs with a kick. And you probably know where I'm going with that. 
because that means you can do this. I do not recommend it whatsoever. But you know, if some people are being a little cheeky with the stuff they can do. You know, because even then, like, I can't do anything there. Alright, whoops. I'll do that. Again, same thing. So, like, some characters, some situations, if you know the person, it can work. I don't recommend it. It is there. You can just do that one more. <laughs> do that for one more. It's, it's stupid. Ugh. Actually, speaking of uh, landing grabs on people, uh, the last thing I'll talk about, if you're in burnout, you're trying to get stuff back. Oh, that's not it. Refill. So we'll go to, like, here, for example. So, landing stuff of your own will give you gauge back. Uh, land whatever. Get, get, get stuff back. If, you, uh, if you're gonna land grabs, if you have the option to, then you land the suplex. If you can ever do it. Uh, other grabs, you still get most of the way there. Like, that's pretty close, and then you're good. If you land the suplex, though, it's slightly more, like a tiny bit, and then you have the option of dashing, and then you get to do something here. You know, you get to mess up your SPD and lose the game. That's a cool option. You get to grab, or do one of these, or something, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. That's about it on the burnout side for geese. If, like I said, burnout sucks. Uh, just keep in mind that if you chill out, if you're not in this corner scenario, then you're actually, for the most part, like fine. If you're like here and you're burnt out, you'll take some chip, and that's about it. Sure, your whiff punish is like there you go. There's your cool whiff punish you get. Hooray! Uh, but you're usually fine. Here is way worse. But you know if you. Uh, Go back to the first thing. You know, if you get through the, if you get through them doing, if they're really impatient and they want to like draw the eye, and you have so many options to get past that. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Now uh, let's go to the cool part, uh, the part you might care about more uh, when they're in burnout. Because then it's a bad time for them. See, look at that. Look, he's all gray now. It feels great, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Geef doesn't really have special moves to uh, do infinite block strings off of. So, like I said before, there's just the normals. And the normals will make it go up. I will make him block. I'll make it go up. The main difference, though, is that, you know, Geef landing grabs doesn't make their thing go up very much. So again, this grab is a big deal, because it goes up a little bit, but it's a fuck ton of damage and you get to do stuff after. Uh, any of your big big buttons, all safer. Uh, specifically four frames extra block stun, so just add four to anything. Oh, this is plus four, now it's plus eight. You know, it's great. Uh, you might see a uh, key, key player do this a lot, because you're plus 8 on block, what crazy person would ever mash buttons there? You actually can mash there, but, uh, you know, some people just like mashing light punch at plus 8, I don't know. I'm not judging. Uh, so yeah, everything. Fun time. To the point where uh, this adds 4 frames as well. So that's 8. As you notice, that jab is plus 9 on block. <laughs> that's a sentence I get to say. Uh, so there's a lot of block string stuff that's different now. Comes down to, you know, if this is plus 8, if I do SPD right after, that shit will whiff. If I, um, do like a couple jabs into this, usually you're doing this into this as a frame trap. If, that got, if they get hit by the jab, this all combos. If they didn't get hit by the jab, you DR, second jab into that is a frame trap. Unfortunately, because plus fucking nine, uh, that's a true block string now. So that's no longer a thing. Technically, you could um, this into that for a five frame gap. There's a bunch of examples going off of, you know, this is minus four if you do it like that. 
you can go on and on about it forever. Right? Uh, this is maybe slightly usable because it's plus one now. And you're really close. Second one still sucks, so I think it's minus, right? Oh, zero. Is it always like that? Hold on. I'm figuring stuff out on my own here real quick. Give, give, give me a second. Give, give me a second. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, the burnout. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if the DR thing applied to it, but I was like, no, it's... It's just the burnout part. Okay. Anyways. Uh, Mid-screen, it's, again, a little hard to do much, because you're still geef, you're slow as shit. But, you know, if you end up landing stuff... Oh my god, that move sucks. If you end up landing this, then it's like... You know, get them close to the corner. If you have them here, it's... A, a bad time for them. They don't have DI to stop you from doing stuff like this. Or this. Or, uh, you know, adding plus frames to all your normals, which I should add also your jump normals. So look, that's plus four on block. This is like plus, like, 12. That's crazy. This is like only minus, I, you know, don't worry about that one. So you can do the same scenario of, well, you want to DI them. They're looking for the same thing. They're, they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. Holy crap. That's been a while since I've done one of these. You want a DI, you want the stun, you want big damage, etc, etc. There's nothing too special about it. What what each character can do to stop it, totally depends. DJ's screwed if he doesn't have two bars. So, you know, that's a great example of, you know, you do this and you die. The main difference, I guess, is that since Geef has the command grab thing, or because some characters, the only option they have is to jump, you know, if you do this and that, plus eight, you know, this and this is a true block string, stuff like that. If they want to jump afterwards, you don't have to do DI. You can do this and see what they do. If they're scared of getting hit by DI, or if you're doing jabs in the DI, that's an even better option. This jab is plus five. You jab nothing and they're just holding up because of DI or, you know, regular command grab, because that's still a thing they have to worry about. You know, you, you get them in whichever way Geef can. The last thing I want to talk about, which won't happen too often with Geef, because you have to DR to do it, is Lock. Uh, Lock is actually really good. It's something I have not been doing, because uh, not many two opportunities. It's basically DR Headbutt or DR Stab into this. And I said it's good, which sounds weird, because the whole point of Lock is if you do something that's too close of a real block string into DI, it just won't let you do it. It won't mull splat or stun. That's inescapable. We're not going to let you do that. Now, the reason why I say it's good, it's, it's plus one. You see the plus one right there? It's plus. So, in any regular scenario, you do this, you do that, it's locked, you're plus one. Uh, you do something, right? You do a light, you do an SPD, whatever. Uh, the reason why it uh, matters for Geef because you can do it off of this. You can delay the cancel on this for so long that it doesn't lock anymore. If I do it right away, it locks. If I don't do it right away, it doesn't lock. So that becomes an entire thing of, uh, you can do this, it locks, so they're not, they can't really do a special, or a super, I mean. Plus one. Do whatever mix-up you want. Here, let's do this. Delay that one. That one was real. And then you kill him. Oh, I think it's neat. I don't have much else to say. Uh, this is Burnout. There's probably a million videos on Burnout. I just was doing this in a quick... Or I see 14 and a half minutes. So it's not really quick. I'm doing this in a way that... Uh, Hopefully, might help a Geef player a little bit. Yeah. There's so many uh, things you can do to like either hopefully get your drive gauge back or do block strings to get them closer to the corner. And I hope this random rambling helped you out on that. If it didn't, I don't know. Should have figured that out by like minute two or something. That's that's your fault for getting to this point. 
Uh, if you have questions, I don't know, ask them somewhere. Okay, bye.